Welcome to another edition to the Assess Sports Show, guys. Thank you for the love. Appreciate you. You bring each and every day. You got the face to run the place. I cannot do the show. Watch out, guys. To all my fans out there, thank you so much for supporting the show each and every day. You're amazing. Like I said before, man, I know I have not been on YouTube for a while. There's not a lot of things going on. Um, personally, my life been great. Um, got a new job, stuff like that. So, <clears throat> all the things going on. But, but yeah, I came to see that. But to everybody for, for the comments and everything, thank you so much for supporting the show. So let's talk about a little bit Miami football. The season starts today. The opener from the, it's gonna be Miami and New England. So uh, I don't know what this love fest for Mike Jones. He's not a very good quarterback. He's all right, but I think Miami will take the win. Miami will. I think it's 35-14. Miami wins. Um, I think it's Miami. How we'll get. Two or three interceptions. I think New England is just going to try to pound the ball, keep away. I think that's the strategy from New England. Miami got a good run defense. So it's going to be intriguing. And I think it's Tua time. Tua will come out and show what Miami picked them. Um, fifth overall last year. And listen, I, th this wave of Tua haters, I don't know why. All of a sudden, people don't like Tua. But um, I mean, it, like I want to tell to fans, no matter if Miami could have picked Justin Herbert, they will find flaws. They don't like Miami. The media does not like Miami. For whatever reason, they don't like Miami. But it's fine. I hope Tua comes up and shows why he was the number fifth pick. And and you saw preseason. You saw how he looked. He looked great. If the offensive line could block better and and hold their blocks. And they may be fine. I, I like what I see in the offensive lines. Um, Dieter is, is, is our center, and he looked incredible. And I think we got some pieces there. Austin Jackson looks good. Um, I, I want the guy from Notre Dame to start. A right tackle, Angerberg. Um, and I do think Davis could be a solid right guard or left guard, whatever, because he could play those positions solid. If they could do that, it's going to be... Not, this office line will grow, grow together and gel together. Um, so I like what I, what I see in special teams. Waddle's gonna be incredible. You already see the connection from two up to Gesicki. Um, Parker, we, we got to wear for Fuller, he's suspended. I think Albert Wilson's gonna be incredible this season. So it's it's a lot of good things to look at. Um, Jacqueline Grant, I think he's just gonna do punt returns. It's gonna be, I think him and um, Waddle, Sharing. Um, I, I just like how everything's looking. Miami got speed this year in wide receiver, so they cannot bunch up the the line if they do. And I think I think Gaskins is gonna catch a lot of balls. So you have them in your fantasy leagues, put them in. I'm telling you, Gaskins, if you see him, they will sw swing in the ball to him. He's a good catcher. Ahmed is a a, a other threat, so I know uh, we want a, run, a running back, but I think these two guys are, are going to be okay for the Dolphins. It's, it's going to be an incredible season for the Dolphins. I, I told you, I think they win 11 games, 11 and 6. Um, that's my prediction. I just like the team, the nucleus of this team. Um, we do need a pass rusher. Hopefully, Phil, Phillips. Will will provide that. Um, I like, but he's gonna play more linebackerish. But I think that fits his skill set. If you do that, he's gonna be more like a JJ Watt. Um, so I like, I like what I see. But the Dolphins, um, it's gonna be interesting um, because you know, Bill Belichick is a mastermind and coming up with schemes. So and Tua last year beat him. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, they they're gonna have weapons and. What I want to see from Tua, like everybody wants to see, if he he could connect with Waddle, if he could throw it in there, precise, thread the needle. I think I think Tua been doing that in practice. I think Tua has been doing that um, everywhere, and uh, and this preseason, and this uh, it came out yesterday. They think Tua was gonna str um, struggle. <clears throat> gonna struggle because of the the crowd. The, this man is not scared of no crowds. He played for a national championship game as a freshman, as a, you know, sophomore, whatever 
And maybe he's not scared of the moment. The crowd's not going to affect him. Yes, it's been a year without the fans or whatever, but that crowd's not going to affect him at all. It's more hype than anything. It's more for the defense purposes. So I think two would be fine. I mean, they're just trying to nitpick everything this guy does, and, and I don't agree with it. And then then um, they report that he's not a captain. I don't care about that. Tom Brady was not a captain for a long time, and then finally he's a captain. That don't mean crap to me, not being a captain, being a captain. Listen, Xavier Howard, best defensive player on our team, he's not a captain. Does it really matter? No. If he wins and you see his leadership in the sidelines and preseason talking to the guys, you don't need the this, seat this to be a captain. It's what people don't see. That's what makes you a captain. So to me, it is, it's, it's not a non-story, but again, people are going to criticize each and everything this guy does. So to me, he's going to be fine. Um, Miami Dolphins, um, the Dutch, Deshaun Watson, I told y'all that that was not going to ever happen. What were, what they were talking to Deshaun Watson, sure. Uh, and see the entrance and see what would take, sure. Every team in the league is going to do that. But who was going to put the trigger? And people were like, oh, but this week it's going to be a train. Nobody's training for Deshaun Watson because his liquor issues. Nobody's going to do that. So, in the day, but this, this is, I want to make this it. If Tua doesn't have a great year, <clears throat> then I would think Deshaun Watts will be a Dolphins. And, and, and at the end of the day, I think that's what happened. So Tua has to perform. And to me, I'm a Tua guy. You know I've been a Tua guy. So to me, it's not an issue. I think Tua is going to perform to his, his abilities. We're going to have two first-round draft picks, and hopefully high. Um, I'm rooting against um, against San Francisco. They let them lose everything. Um, so, yes, the season's coming, so this is going to be inter interesting. We cannot lose this game because um, if you see our schedule, it's, it's tough. Our, our first five games are tough. So if we could take care of New England and next week we could take care of Buffalo, then you know what? Then you feel a little bit better. Two division wins, then you go on. So let's see what happens, guys. Um, that's what I got for y'all. Comment below. Tell me what y'all think. Thank you so much for supporting the show, and y'all amazing to me each and every day. So thank you. Sorry I have not been on for a while, but it was just like the off season. I'm not gonna just make a video just to make a video, guys. Um, this is just me, fresh like seeing seeing all the evidence and talk and talk. So thank you so much for the support, the energy, everything. Comment below, tell me what y'all think, and go Dolphins.